while it can be tempting to want to bring the hockey gear and the ice skates, when a little bit of ice forms, even that ice can be a little bit deceiving. Lakes freeze from the top down as ice will float on any liquid water. Even though the top of the water may look frozen, it may just be a thin layer of ice. The best way to check if it is safe to go out on the frozen water is to take a sample of the ice thickness. Typically, four inches of ice is the minimum thickness needed to hold a person's weight. That being said, one part of a lake may have thicker ice due to the currents of the lake or whether it has been windy or snowy. If there are any cracks, branches, or bubbles poking through the ice surface, that means the strength of that ice layer will have been compromised. You can also quickly judge the strength of the ice by its color. Darker blues and blacks normally indicate stronger ice than a lighter white color. Anytime you're out on the ice, make sure that you have a flotation device close by just in the event that it does break. But hey, if that ice isn't thick enough, you can always go back to some old-fashioned sledding. I'll catch you on the flip side, but reporting live by this massive hill. I'm Shorn Track Forecaster, Maddie S.